Hey guys, it's Jeremiah here. I'm going to be showing you today how to put a uh, full coilover kit on a 94 or 95 Cobra. So first things first, we're going to start with taking our wheels off. Hey guys, so I went ahead and I uh, took the tire off and I uh, shoved it under there for more protection. Just a couple of more insurances in case the, the car falls on you. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the caliper off. There's two bolts on the back. Uh, first things first, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to turn the wheels to the right. Alright guys, I took the brake caliper off and uh, kind of made my first mistake. I actually put the jack stand on the A-arm. So I'm going to have to jack the car up a little bit and move the jack stand to the body of the car. Because you're going to need to uh, go ahead and... Uh, jack this up and down to uh, let the spring loose and take out the shock. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix up my mess up. Also, to any of you running, actually I'm pretty sure it's for all SNs, uh, the socket you'll be needing is a 15mm. Uh, I went ahead and used the impact wrench just because it's a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix my mess up and go ahead and get back to you once I'm done. Alright guys, so I went ahead and fixed up my screw up. I went ahead and uh, put the jacks, well the car on jacks, <laughs> on the body of the car, not on the A-arms where I usually do it. So I went ahead and put the jack on the A-arm. I went ahead and gave it some uh, resistance so when I undo the spring I want explode and hit me. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the sway bar end link off. Uh, that's a 15 millimeter deep socket. For you guys wanting to know, uh, when I do that, the next thing I'll have to do is just go ahead and uh, undo these two bolts and the arm will actually release and decompress. What you'll want to do is go ahead and let the a arm down slowly with the jack so it doesn't go ahead and uh, pop the spring out on you. So I'll go ahead and get that stuff done and come back to you. Alright guys, back with you here. It took a while actually, those two bolts were a pain. Uh, so when I went ahead and uh, undid uh, the shock from the spindles and now it's uh, just hanging by the caster camber plate. Stock one. So what I'll go ahead and do is uh, I'll go ahead and undo these three. Usually there's a rivet right here, but mine's already undone. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, take the shock out. And yeah, that's pretty much. And I'll get back to you once I'm done. So guys, I went ahead and undid the bolts. Uh, first, we're going to want to undo this big nut up top and take the sh shock out. So it's going to be a 1316. And you're going to go ahead and use a screwdriver in this part and go ahead and undo it. And then you're going to take the shock out and then uh, install your <sighs> caster camber plates. Alright, this is uh, a couple of days fast forward. I had trouble taking the screwdriver and the wrench and twisting the old one off, the stock OEM one. That's the passenger side. So I actually went ahead and just undid all three bolts, and all three, and uh, the shock actually just fell right out without taking it apart. So I went ahead and uh, installed the caster camber plates. It's uh, you undo these three bolts, uh, you go ahead and replace in the three spots, you tighten it all up, and I went ahead and actually uh, put the coil over in. It's just replacing your shock the two bolts, take your spring out, and uh, tighten it all up. I got this adjusted, tightened. I put it all for the middle so I can take it to the alignment shop. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw the brakes on and the caliper, and uh, then throw the tire on, and then I'll move on to the back. So I went ahead and finished both front coilovers. Uh, it's fairly easy on the front. Uh, it's just tricky if you have a car that hasn't been worked on in many years uh, to get the old shock on this part. It was a pain in the ass. Excuse me. 
it was really hard uh, but overall I'm really happy it dropped my car about three inches so I have about two finger lengths on both sides I'm gonna go ahead and take it to a shop and get it laser lined and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, do the rear in a couple days but overall I'm really happy with the SVE 9495 no, 94 to 98 uh, coilover kit. It's very reasonable priced. LMR did a great job. Uh, and overall, I'm very happy.